Hey, what's up everybody? Thank you for watching. In today's video, I'm gonna go behind the scenes on how we hang the old baby signs. I'm gonna add another base that you can do if you already have a drape system, something similar to where they have balloon garlands or just for curtains. I'm also gonna show you how you can add material over the backdrop so you can quickly change the colors to match the theme you're going for. Let's get started. All right, let me show you how we hang the signs. The first one we're hanging is the old baby sign, the corrugated plastic. It's just plastic, uh, super thin. So we're just gonna use some stickies on the back. All I'm gonna use is just some command hooks and we'll put it on. So I just put them on the back and now let's find a place for this. You can put it on a wall, you can put it on anything, just use those stickies, uh, throw some balloons up and I think that'll make your wall pop really well. We get this question a lot, how do we hang the like the OBB signs, the wooden signs, the MDF signs, how do we hang them? Actually it's just fishing string. Uh, this is 50 pounds. This is the heaviest one they make for these. You're not going to see the fishing string passing through. Uh, if you want, you can use thinner. The lowest I would go is maybe 30, but really the 50 pound has been the best one for us. So we just cut the fishing string, tie it around the old baby sign, and there's some screws usually in the back of our backdrop, and we just tie it around there. You can tie on both sides and then kind of manipulate the string to kind of have the letter how you want it, or if you kind of know, it's up to you. So if you want it at an angle, just add some more fishing string to the other side of the letter and lift it up. Just depends on how you want it. And hanging these sometimes can be easy or they can be a pain. So most of the time we actually show up with the string already tied to the back so it's just easier to set where we want. It's usually easier with two people. Someone holds it and the other person just ties it. So it's that simple. It's just fishing string tied around. Uh, it's best with two people. Someone hold it where you want it and the next person put it in there. Just cut off any of the extra fishing string. You don't see it, it's seamless. All right, this is version one. So with this one, you have a little bit in the front that you see here. It also has some in the back, which stabilizes it really well. But let me show you the back. And that's the back, that's version one. Let me show you version two. All right, this is the seamless one. There's no bottom, but this one is not as stable as the one that has in the front that's kind of stabilizing it. This one, you will need something in the back. Let me flip it around for you. Uh, just for purpose, I have one of the sandbags. Uh, you can get these on Amazon. Uh, it's just filled with sand. All right, let me show you version three. So this material was actually made for a different backdrop, but I kind of wanted to show it to you just to kind of give you a reference of something you could do similar to like this. What I actually did to make the first one was I placed it around there and I actually used screws to screw through the material into the wood. And then I unscrewed it and whatever those holes were, that's where I added a grommet. And so I had the grommets placed into material, I just put the grommets over the screw heads and placed it on and it went on tight all the way around. This is just a great idea that you can add to quickly change out your backdrops if uh, people want different colors, different ideas, different themes. Uh, you can switch out the color of your backdrop without having to paint anything. As you can see, it's just screws that I have in the back, but later on those were replaced with grommets and then small head screws, which it just kind of slip in and slip out. Thank you to all of those who have already supported us on our Etsy channel. It's definitely helping our business grow and allowing us to do more things like this. Mm -hmm.